the safe conveyor. Today we're demonstrating one of our separating conveyors. Usually we call these dual path because there's one conveyor frame and then there are two drives on it. And in this case, because we're going to be calling this a separator, the belts are both moving in the same direction. So the motors are both at the same end. And one belt can be driven at a different speed than the other. In this case, we've got one going slow, one going fast. And the purpose of having this type of a design in a conveyor is to separate. So if you're doing automation and you need to load equipment or simulate or count, or even in distribution where you want to count, you need to get things separated from each other so you can count them accurately. If they're bunched together, you're going to get the wrong counts. So separation. Singulating is putting things in line in file. Everybody's lined up. Now you got to get them all spread out. So this spreads them out. Now the customer wanted to know how it would handle bags. So we'll grab some of our parts that come in bags. And they might be heavy like this big bag, big bag of bolts. Or they might be light like these little plastic connectors. So we're going to just drop them on the conveyor. And they're going to go off the end fold on that board. What we really want to see is this is just a mock-up. That's what you need to do is divert. So you're going to push them over to the next belt and you can see how they go. Now we'll do two bags that are the same. So you can see how if they were sitting next to each other. And there's one bag and there's another bag. See it pulls it away from the other bag. And they may end up getting down to the other end for it bunching up. So we can now look at odd shaped parts. So here's a one that has little round leveler brackets and you can see that the bag drifting over it's going across the joint and there it goes there's another leveler bracket followed by a heavy bag of bolts you can see that go across the joint here's some small screws and then that bag that has a white side see how they go across these are very light these are little plastic straps tie straps and we'll spin around. Another light bag full of crimp. Now getting that sound we're getting at the back is that the pep is going off the end and not getting off the end. So we'll put one more on. Another bag of rubbers. And so you can see how that separates. And again, these are variable speeds, so you can change the amount of separation by changing the speed of control. In this particular demonstration, the left side running at 80 feet per minute on the right side running at 10 feet per minute and you can see these are these are a popular model you know for building you know i think the five right here sometimes we drop those parts onto a conveyor so to get them on this conveyor we would use a an incline conveyor so these incline conveyors come up bring the product up from the bagging machine drop them onto this area of the belt and then this separator part is basically just a diverter. This just separates them. And the idea is to get them dropping one at a time. And if you drop two, you will spread them out. If you drop a big pile and you're sitting on top of each other, that is a simulation issue. That's something we don't offer. We just do this and we sometimes offer these to a, a diverter. We call them a diverter. We can make them adjustable angle. This happens with this for demo. It's just a solid block. A lot of times we make this as an arm that you can adjust the end. So that pretty much uh, explains how we use a dual path conveyor as a separator. Thanks for watching.